We are back on Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't think we've ever been on it, so I don't know why I'm saying we're back. So, um, if you've read the title, um, you should know what we're doing. Unless you're blind. If that's the case, then I'm sorry. But today, we um, are going to be getting gold medals, so... 70 on Stranger and Freaks. No, why did I say Stranger and Freaks? 70 on missions. Um, shut up. Anyway, we are back and no one is going to interrupt me. So, I think like, like, I don't know how many percent haven't unlocked this. I know it's a decent amount. It's, I, we're just going to do it because like, what's better than putting myself through loads of pain? Anyway, let's get into this flipping thing. So I ain't got all day. So, for any of you who haven't played this game, I am going to talk through every mission I play and tell you all about it. So, lucky for you. Um, End the Pursuit by Memory is basically all you do is half of it is just riding with Ch uh, Charles. That's not Charles. Uh, Javier up a, up a bloody mountain. Um, you scale some cliffs. Literally, that's all you do. Um, and to find John Johnny Boy Mons Marston, uh, who is found critically injured and cannot move, and he's stuck on a cliff ledge. So, um, and then you walk back to your horses, uh, and then that's when the wolves appear. And then, when I was fighting the wolves, the worst thing possible could have happened. Happened. <laughs> So I decided to kill myself. So what didn't help is that if I failed at one point, I would then have to go restart the mission and go do go through all of the flipping horse ride, the five minute horse ride at the start of the mission, and listen to Javier's stupid dialogue for over and over and over again for the next hour, and it was painful. And there'll be fails where, like, I accidentally shoot my shotgun after killing a wolf. That would completely derail the whole mission. How did I get silver? And this would happen over. Ah. No! And over. And over. And over again. Until finally, I didn't manage to do it. Now, all we had to do was not miss a single shot, killing all the wolves on the way back to the um, camp hideout. Hey, I finally did it, Jesus Christ. I think you had to like, um, like, kill them with one shot. I don't think hitting them, like, counted as a accuracy shot. Because I kept, I, I, did, I hit them all. I hit all the wolves and I didn't, like, miss a shot. And some, some shots I didn't kill them, but it didn't give me the 100%, so... I've done it anyway, so I'm gonna go do the next one. Right, so... The next mission I decided to do was the Course of True Love, Part 5. And uh, the mission, like, the objectives were... 5 headshots when people are pursuing the train, and... Complete in 7 minutes and 30 seconds. The time one's slightly difficult, the headshot one's easy. You just use dead eye, Um... Which is like a cheat code, in a way. But it's the time one that got me the first time. Um, because I didn't get on the train, like drive the train quick enough. And I'm pretty sure the ride was too slow. So I just fixing that, I just used stims. And then I decided uh, to put myself at the front of the train when fighting the guys. So I can drive the train quicker. Um, but other than that, it was a good mission. It was easy. It wasn't hard at all. So the next, after that mission... Um, I decided to do another evening mission, which was the Delights of Van Horn. 
all I had to do, headshot five shoulder, shoulders, shoulders, <laughs> headshot five sold, soldiers, Jesus can't speak, uh, with a long scope rifle, which is the sniper that Phil gives you, and complete with at least 85% accuracy, I got that done, pretty simple, wasn't that difficult. So I did female uh, question, why did I say female? I got that so mixed up. Further questions of female suffrage, which for that I had to find, uh, fend off all the Le Moine ra 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 Raiders in less than one minute, get five headshots, complete with 85% accuracy and complete the mission without taking any half tonics. That should be an easy gold medal. My gold medal didn't pop up. That's not very nice, is it? I wanted my gold medal to pop up. Then I went and did honest and honest mistake by Uncle. Why do I feel like this is going to be a mission that I just fail because I'm just so good at this game? The thing is, it's not even the fact that like these these like tasks are hard. It's just that the pressure of failing and knowing you have to restart the whole bloody mission and that'll take another like seven minutes added on. So just don't want to waste seven minutes of my time. So the objectives for this were. Save Uncle when he's overpowered, get 20 headshots, complete with 80% accuracy, and complete the mission without taking any half tonics. But just be careful when you're um, shooting on the horses because you can miss shots, so take your time and use dead eye. I probably might, I might have used all my uh, dead eye on that yeah. one uh, by, um, right. horse for, uh, chase thing, my, my bobby. I gotta make sure I don't miss a shot, man. That's the most important part. Because I just can't afford it to restart. They'll get your fat flipping body out of the way. I'm trying to get a gold medal here, buddy. You wouldn't understand. Now, all I had to do was make sure I didn't mess up the uncle bit. And bam. There you go. Right, that's, that's one done. So I'm pretty sure I've done it, like, unless that one shot that I've missed has messed me up, I hope it hasn't. Whoa, let's go. Now, we are halfway there, so that's good. I then gold did three missions, advertising the new American Dream Act 2, Friends in Very Low Places, and Blood Feuds Ancient and Modern. Just two more to go now, um, in this video. So I decided to do the Battle of Shady Bell. Uh, pretty simple. Ride to a place with John. Kill some people. Chuck a body into chuck some two bodies into the river. And then ride to St. Denis. Easy mission. And an easy goal. Right, what one what, what should we do for the last for the last um achievement? No, not achievement. Gold. Gold gold shit. Whatever the fuck. Okay. But I'm gonna the up. Right, we're doing Welcome to a New World, whatever the flip the mission's called, and whatever the hell the objectives are, because I don't know. I think it was like headshots and don't fall behind while walking in a chain gang. God damn, this mission is tedious, man. Half of this mission is literally just bloody walking. It's so annoying. Don't forget, after walking, we've got to do more walking. So, yeah, this is just, whoever thought this was fun, like, at Rockstar, it's just stupid. Ten headshots, okay, nope, okay, give me your head, shoot your gun, shoot, bloody hell, Arthur, I shot his hat off, mate, bro, I, uh, my shooting is so good. Basically just using aimbot as much as I can. Well, that should be enough. If I don't pass this mission, I swear to god I will throw myself out the window. Woohoo! Oh, my frames have just dropped to like... Nothing. That's this video done. Part 1. Um, anyway, I'm done. Um, I'm gonna go probably play some COD or something. Check out my other videos. If you want to, don't really care what you do, because I just don't give a damn.